Alright guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're back on half time. We're going out to pull the pots again and hopefully we can get lucky with some big lobsters. It's smash fishing, baby. Woo! Check that out for a lovely day. I don't know what it's gonna be like on the deep pots, but we will soon find out. Nice to see the sun out, that's for sure. First, so it is quite swelly out here. The camera never shows it for what it really is. But, uh, that wind's gonna come up later, so I thought I'd get these ones done first. And hopefully, the inside ones will be a lot calmer. Oh, a whole lot of seaweed. Yeah, that one's up to there, I don't know if I'm doing it now. But, there's a lobster. I don't know if that's going to be a keeper, but it's a lobster. Nice. Come on. Give us a beast. See the waves crashing here, it's crazy. There's a giant reef that runs along here. And you can see the swell hitting. A few spider crabs in there. In this pot, I think it's all spider crabs. But we're getting more and more of them. They're, they're definitely starting to come in, that's for sure. Not a keeper by any means, but it's nice to see. Get a little bit more bait in this one. Perfection right there. Lovely to see for the future. Right, get rid of the seaweed. We're on to the next drink. Come on, you lobsters. Give me a beat. not legal size but nice to see another one happy days here she comes i can see it let's go baby give me a lobster ah oh, beast lobster yeah baby that's a keeper all day long Set that piece down. Nice. Big solid mail again. Nice. Got a bit of a weird claw on it. I'll give you guys a show in a bit, but that's a nice keeper. Beauty. Hopefully we get some more like that. Come on. Oh, there's a lobster. 
not a keeper, but a nice lobster. Brown crab. And another brown crab. It always catches well this Smaller one. It's definitely a keeper, but it's got a bit of shell rot, so I'm gonna let it go. Nice brown crab, though. a little bit because I've had problems with it lately so these ones are in only 30 foot of water so we'll see how long it takes me to pull off the whole string of three Big lobster. Come on! Come pull them, baby! Wedged itself in there. Come on, bud. Can't get them out. Oop. That's a lovely lobster. Look at that. Lovely big male in that one. That's a lovely lobster again. Nice. That was mullet I used as bait in that one. Nice, I get loads of lobsters lately. I'm over the moon. Just a brown crab and a spotted crab. Good exercise pollen crab pots. Check that lot out. What a mess. Just hundreds of little crabs. Well, not hundreds, but. Uh, ow! Got me. There we go. Nice and clean. Get some more bait up. And hopefully, next time we get loads of lobsters. Let's go. Hopefully, we get a beast. We've got two so far. So, we've caught ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's massive! What an absolute beauty! I got a big head and look at that! That's mental! Didn't get anything, no lobsters, but that was quite cool. Right then. It's a bit 
windy at the moment. The wind's come right up, so luckily we did the outside ones first. The water's murky as well, so we can't see the rocks around here. So I'll be really careful with what I'm doing. Gauge here. Check that out. It's about three or four mil in that. That's three lobsters down. Nice. I was hoping these pots would do well. I baited them up full of like heads and guts and all sorts. And this is the bait I'm putting back. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> right, I'm just going to get out of here because we're close to the rocks. There we go. First female of the day. Look at that. Big lobster. No claws though. It's a female, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go chuck that back on the reef and she can go make some more lobsters for me. Right, let's get this baited up. I'm gonna chuck these back out and we'll throw this as well. So there we go, guys. We're right over the reef. First female we've caught today. And that one's gonna go be our breeder. Last string of the day and we're in, we're in six foot of water. <laughs> I came out at low tide today to try and find my ink wells that I've lost, but I still can't find them. This is going to be caught up in the rocks. First part. There is a lobster. Nice. There's a lobster. Nice. First pot, first lobster. Is it going to be a keeper? This was our good luck for uh, putting the female back. Uh, lobster gauge, and that one there is in. Lovely. Check the other eye socket. Look at that. Beautiful. This gauge is over the legal size limit, and that one is definitely in. Nice. Come on. Don't know if it's gonna be a keeper, we're gonna find out. Very nice. Alright. There we go. Yeah, I think that's a keeper. Bit of funny claw on that one as well. Where's my gauge? There we go. We've got our gauge. And that lobster right there, look at that. In a lovely mile. That's two lobsters out of that string. I think we got. We got five lobsters again. Nice. <laughs> Happy day. Can't go wrong with that. I'm over the moon. That's two trips in a row. I've had five lobsters. What a banger this turned out to be. Plenty of lobsters. We got five. They're not, they're not huge lobsters, but they're nice ones nonetheless. So we're going to count up our lobsters here, guys. Got one there. We got that's a that's a lovely lobster. That one. 
I didn't realise that one was so big. <laughs> We've got another one here. We've got another one there. And another one here. Check that out. Five lobsters. I'm absolutely over the moon because I don't usually catch this many. So it's nice to, uh, in the last two trips, start seeing some nice lobsters and they're all solid as well. So look at that. Some of them have got funny claws. See there? It's interesting. But hey ho, these will go to family and I'm going to eat a couple. So I'll see you in the kitchen guys. What a lovely trip this was. We are back in the kitchen with our lovely lobster. We're going to make a nice quick lobster roll. I'm about to head out on another little adventure, so I need a little snack and this is the perfect thing. Look at that lovely bit of meat right there. Quite funny this lobster. Look at the claw. It's got a real deformed claw on it. Quite interesting. Beautiful. So all we're doing guys, really simple this one, really quick. Get a good old plug of sweet chilli sauce on there. Nice mound of lettuce. And we've got our beautiful lobster. The thing with lobster, if you've got it, pile it on. Oh yeah. Check that out for a nice roll. Perfection right there. Looking forward to eating this. Get it cut in half. And check that out. Oh, a lovely thick sandwich. I didn't know if I was going to have time to eat this lobster, I've been so busy lately. But uh, I can't let it go to waste. So nice quick one, nice quick lobster roll. Absolutely delicious. That's classic right there. Mm. It's amazing, it's the amount of lobsters we're getting at the moment is crazy. They're all definitely coming in shore. You can't beat the taste of a nice fresh lobster like that. Well, I say fresh, it's a day old at the moment, but there we go. The next few days I'm going to be really busy, so I won't be home much. So I would have ended up forgetting about that lobster, but now it's gone to good use. So I won't leave the video any longer, guys. I'm absolutely devouring this. So tasty and refreshing, especially when summer comes around. Nice, fresh lobster rolls like that. Absolutely perfect. I'd recommend toasting the bun, that saves it going a bit mushy, but apart from that, it's absolutely delicious. So stay tuned for the next episode, if you, uh, if you want any merch, the link's in the description. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, there's going to be plenty more to come. It's Math Fishing, baby. Woo!